Uh, good day guys um, welcome to my channel in this video today I'm going to show how to uh, draw a multi span beam from Excel in our previous video I demonstrated I, I show you how to we can draw a single span beam and uh, many of you uh, in the comment requested that if I can upgrade it to allow for multi span beam and I, I look at it and in this video I'm going to uh, uh, show you how to use this uh, new version that can allow you to draw a multi span beam. Um, this is a table so basically this is how our beam will look. Uh, this this is what I've drawn just now with uh, this BBA uh, macro. This is a single span beam and here is uh, three spent you can draw up to five span beams uh, I just limited that to five span uh, but I think you can extend it you can extend it I will uh, release the code so you'll be able to change it um, modify it to suit your need if you have an um, knowledge of uh, uh, VBA Excel VBA then you'll be able to extend it to see your need. Uh, let's get started. I'm going to delete these ones so that we can start from scratch. Let's delete uh, the data and we can input the data together. In this column here, this a form there is this formula in here. Basically, what it does is Whatever uh, number we put here, it will appear in the uh, cell uh, in these cells. This actually referred to uh, uh, the spend number, uh, ID number, or yeah. So spend one. Uh, let's take uh, four meter. Is the length of the spend is four meter? The height of the beam. The height of the beam will be, uh, let's take it 600, take it 600, and the width of the beam, and then this actually, what this means is the left, the width of the support. So this support, what I mean is the width, the dimension of this support, uh, it can be a column or a wall below the beam. So uh, 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 this cells refer to the width of the left beam of the left column the width of the left column and the width of the right column of the beam so this is a span this is the left uh, uh, this is a left support this is a right support so for each span we have uh, uh, the left and right support so this is the left and here is the right and the width we refer to this dimension so in this case i would take uh, 300 for both left and right and the less support how many bars top rebar do we have here i'm going to put three top rebars and the size let's take uh, 20 and then uh, the bottom number of bottom bars this i refer to this number of bottom bars i take three uh, this time I'm going to use a white 16 and on the on the left on the right sorry on the right side of the span uh, the top bars I'm going to take uh, 3 y 20 3 y 20 and the bottom I refer to this one here at the bottom uh, we are going to use a uh, we are going to use a three or oh, let's put two and the size i'm going to put a uh, y12 and then uh, spend number two so this is spend one so this is spend one uh spend number two so spend number two i would take uh, 3 meters, the length will be 3 meters and the width 6 
600 and 300 as the, the other one and then we have uh, 300 support it will be the same as remember that um, the left the right of uh, spend number one will be equal to the left of spend number two so this figure should be equal and then um, the number of bar will also be three remember that this the left support of number one the the right support of number uh, or spend number one is equal to the left support of beam number two of column uh, of span number two so basically all this information must be copied here here we go so this is how we uh, must put this information and this right of span number two we can put now two and let's put was 16 and also two two and y uh, 16 also for now let's put uh, let's add another i'll just copy all this one down i will go to three span as i said earlier this information must be copied to there yeah, because the right of support um, the right of span number two will be equal to the left of span number three so we are going to stop here at three span for now now we need to add the stirrup and what we do is the stirrup at this position of the spot is different to the stirrup in the middle of the span and also different to the mid to the right side of um, to the right side i mean the left side of sp uh, spot number two so at this position so that uh, i divided it so just because i mean it depends on your design and your curtain how am i going to dispose your your stirrup in your, to distribute the stirrup on your beam so i allowed you to uh distribute it i mean like um for the year in, in for, for instance at this position i'm going to i will say it from the left support to the end of the first uh, set of stirrup to the i mean to the uh, from the left support to the first set of to the end of the first set of stirrup it will be a uh, thousand that's what you that's this uh sorry this is uh, the spacing will be 150 and the size is y 10 and the distance this distance is actually from uh, this distance here from the left support to the end of the first set of stirrup this is the first set of stirrup so from there we are going to add take it as uh, one meter and at mid span mid span is from here so yeah, as I, uh, this is one one of the example from here to the end. So this is up to you. I mean, I mean, how your design is, uh, um, how you are, you are going to design your bin. How uh, I mean, depend on how you are distributing your your stirrup. And this spacing in the middle, I'm going to take as two me two hundred, and the size the same size the uh, y ten, and the distance this time will be uh remember the length of the beam is four is four four meters so the left side the left side is thousand so the middle i can take it as two two thousand and on the right i will take it as 150 and the size of this uh, the size of the stirrup is white 10 and this also one meter so this I'm going to distribute it for our my first pen. I will do the same for span number two. Span number two is only three uh, three meters, so the dimension, the distance will change. So the distance I can take it. Uh, I will just put this to one meter also. One meter. I will keep it simple. And then the last span. The last span will also be a. Uh, 
we have the same uh, syllable distribution as um, cement span number two so we done currently with our input the last thing to do is uh, your concrete cover for this one i'm going to take uh, uh, 30 millimeters and uh, the other, uh, this other input is the position of your this is the coordinate of the the starting point of your beam currently the x and y coordinate of the starting point or the insert point is 504000 so uh, they put it 500 500 500 and 500 if i click uh, run button and uh, our thing will be drawn as you can see here's our beam spin number one two and three spin number one two and three so now let's just change it this is done all your information are here so now what i'm going to do i'm going to do a i'll just delete uh, the last span i will do a two span beam now um let's do a two span beam and let's change the position i'll put it now 2000 if you are click run here is our second beam with a two span let's do the last one with uh, a one span beam uh one span beam if you are click run now let's change the let's put it now Mm, 3.5 if I click run you see yeah this we have drawn now our three beams in one go quick and simple um, we done here the demonstration we have done I will release it uh, you will find a link in the description download it and use it change it the way you want it and then i will i would like to hear your your feedback thank you for watching and see you in the next video